What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Sandrush Houndson team that features Tyranitar, Great Tusk, and Iron Bundle. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, the support across the channel has been amazing. I want to give a huge shout out to each and every one of you guys who has been tuning in and viewing my videos. But we got Tyranitar in the top left hand corner to get us started. One of my favorite Pokemon of all time. It has Sandstream as its ability and the Assault Vest as its item. It's got Rock Slide, it's got Assurance, Low Kick, Heavy Slam for its moveset. Second Pokemon is going to be T-Tar's best friend. It is going to be Houndstone. It has Sand Rush to double its speed in the Sandstorm, Citrus Berry to heal up its HP when it falls below half, and it's got Last Respect, which is basically its main move, Play Rough, will o -Wisp, and Destiny Bond. Save when I know I'm going to get knocked out, I'm going to pop a Destiny Bond, try to take out their Pokemon with me. Third Pokemon is going to be Great Tusk. Great Tusk, definitely one of the stronger Pokemon in Series 2. Great, bulky defensive Pokemon and very hard physical attacker and it's protosynthesis the focus sash as item then headlong rush close combat eq and protect which i think is the best move set for a great tusk next pokemon is going to be iron bundle iron bundle is the main he is one of the goats of series two very hard to play up against hits like a truck on the special attack inside and it is very fast at the same time this one has cork drive it is holding the booster energy as item and has freeze dry hydro pump icy wind for speed control and protect Golden Ghost is going to be your 5th Pokemon. Golden Ghost still seeing some love in Series 2. Still very, very strong in Series 2. And as good as Gold, the Life Orb as item. And as Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, Nasty Plot, and Protect. Final Pokemon, Talonflame over here. Talonflame is good for two reasons. One, sets up Tailwind very, very easily. Two, hits like a truck. Very good physical attacker at the same time. And as Gale Wings, Safety Goggles, Brave Bird, Will-O-Wisp, Tailwind, and Taunt. Guys, if you want to rent the team for yourself, but the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that series two ladder. Let's grab some wins with this sand rush houndstone team. First match coming at you guys. We're going up against that Indeedee and Arm Rouge combo team. They got Torkoal, they got King Gambit, they got Hatterene, and last but not least, they have Annihilate. This team is definitely full of Trick Room Pokemon, and Indeedee and Arm Rouge is going to be a problem. I do like T-Tar for the lead. I might end up leading this Pokemon. So. Is that what I do? Do I lead him? I could also go in with Talonflame. Talonflame is going to be really good. It stops first turn priority moves, but Taunt is not considered a first turn priority move. So I'm definitely going to rock out with Talonflame. I definitely want to rock out with Pokemon like T-Tar. I really like T-Tar here considering Dark super effective onto a few of them. Plus we have the rock moves. I really like T-Tar all around here. So I'm going to end up leading the T-Tar, leading Talonflame with it. Next, I'm going to bring the Great Tusk, and then I'm either going to bring Houndstone or Golden Go. Do I bring Golden Go here? 114 speed's not bad, especially up against these Trick Room Pokemon. It pretty much outspeeds most of them, but again, Torkoal would be that problem. Torkoal would definitely be that problem. Could go Houndstone. Could go Houndstone. Houndstone's not terrible, but I think I want Golden Go, or do I want Delibird? It's either of these two, right? Hmm. Looking at it, I kind of like Golden Go, especially for the Trick Room purposes, but Delibird's him. Delibird is him. That's booster energy, but still. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Golden Go. Yeah, I'm gonna go Golden Go. Let's lock it in. We have one second left anyway. We have to lock in our team just to make sure we get the other Pokemon. But match number one coming at you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Hopefully, hopefully we can grab ourselves a win here. Get started off on strong note. But again, Indeedee and Armor is still very tough to play up against. I feel like it's definitely the better combo. But obviously, like everyone's learning how to uh, kind of counter it. But still very tough to play up against. He ends up going into Arm Rouge and Indeedee here. Um, I can easily taunt a Pokemon if I want to. <coughs> and I think I might do that. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I would love to taunt the armors here. I would love to taunt the armors. The Sandstorm is going to kick up, giving us a nice little defense boost. Um, I am going to go for the taunt here. I am going to go for the taunt into the armor slot. Nice, lovely little taunt here. And I could just go straight for an insurance. I could terrasize into flying. Um, I really like to stay in here and uh, going after like armors or DD. I'll go after armors here. Let's see. Is follow me gonna come out here? He's just gonna straight up terras. So he's terrasizing probably in the grass, right? Is it a grass one? I could brave bird next turn if that's the case. And it is going to be. But I wonder who's popping trick him because one of them's got to be popping trick him, right? Unless you're going for follow me. 
Kong's gonna come out here. Hopefully it's armor. Hopefully armor is just sitting there like, hey yo, I'm popping trick room. That would be really good for us. That's some gleam gonna fly here. Rebel we'll soaked pretty well. Wow, that did like no damage. Titar too bulky. <laughs> Titar too bulky. Insurance gonna come out here. Chip up damage. Show me the things you want for trick room. It is. A beautiful play for us. At this point, um <coughs> At this point I could just insurance and brave bird, right? It seems like the play. So great, great time from us to get things started here. Now I can Brave Bird in that slot. Drop a nice little insurance over there. And yo, know, T-Tar is just insanely bulked with this uh, Assault Vest. One of the bulkier special defense Pokemon in this game. Due to the Sandstorm and having the Assault Vest on him. It's incredible. <coughs> you guys see me coughing recently? It's because I, I'm, a, I'm a little sick. I have a little like, scratchy thing. It's kind of bothering me. So I'll cough here and there on screen. It's all good. We're still here creating some nice content for you guys. So hopefully, hopefully we're still rocking out. But a beautiful taunt from us. We're sitting in a pretty solid position. He uses Terra. If he stays in here, he's dead on the uh, armor slot. And Indeedee's going to take a big chunk of damage here as well. So what I think he does is he's going to just follow me, let the Indeedee die, and go from there. Oh, no. He withdraws the armors. The armors takes the withdrawal there. He's going to go into Hatterene. I do not mind that. I don't mind that at all. Considering he's trying to get Trick Room out and about here. So we're going to be able to Brave Bird into that. We're going to take some recoil damage. He's going to go for another Dazzle Gleam, which we soaked. And then Assurance might pick up the KO. Maybe not. He's going to hit pretty hard either way. So Assurance comes out there and just dumps on it. It's a beautiful, beautiful turn for us. Hmm. So now he's sitting here, and I think he might bring back out armors. I wouldn't mind if he brings back out armors. Would not bother me. Not one bit. Because again, we're sitting in such a good spot. And this is a great way to start off today's video. Getting rid of an arm region in DD without really taking any damage. I like it. I dig it a lot. <coughs> but King Gambit is going to be next Pokemon. Might even protect here. We gotta get rid of uh, Hatterene more so than anything. And I think I just will wisp into you. And I just heavy slam for the KO. Seems like a pretty simple turn. will wisp comes across the board. Throws on a big time burn on a big time physical attacker. And then T-Tar takes out Hatterene. Then he's forced to bring out Armors. It's, it's game. Like, dude, it's game. We're sitting in such a good spot. We made such a good play taunting the Armors. I love it. I love it. And that's why if you're going to pop Trick Room, you should probably go for the follow me. You should probably follow me and get that set up right away. Because especially if you're using Trick Room team, if you cannot get Trick Room set up, you lose. You lose every single time. You lose every single time. So you got to prioritize making Trick Room happen. So we have the Gamby burnt. I can low kick it, KO it, and then uh, Armour is going to come out here and die to Brave Bird. <coughs> I'm pretty sure we're going to see a cancel battle here. We are just ripping. We're going to tell this dude to get on out of the game, and we're going to take this 1 0 win, uh, win for today. So, Brave Bird, a little bit of low kick action. You running battle, you canceling it? There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 1 0 to get us started. Get this guy on out my lobby. We're hopping into our second match, and we're going up against Meow Skirata. I haven't seen Meow Skirata in a good bit. Its usage definitely has fallen off since Series 2 has been released, but hey, I still think it's a pretty solid Pokemon. Hopefully we get after this battle and grab ourselves some win, but they also have Iron Hands, Dragonite, Gargle Knackle, and then, uh, what is that? Fluttermane and Grimstrong, so pretty solid team, but my boy over here can get some work done, right? My boy Golden Go could get some work done, but I'm definitely scared of... The Miascarada with this thing, with that thing. So I might just go in with Talonflame, try to get some speed control, or I might not even need Talonflame. Do I need Tally? Do I need Tally? Or do I go straight into a Pokemon like this so I can Icy Win? Kind of get after the battle that way. I think I like that a little bit more. So you know, I'm going to go Deli Deli Bird. I am going to also lead. I think Talonflame's not bad here just for the attacking side, but um, I might also lead you. Hmm, what do I do here? Jeans do here. No, I'm gonna go Talonflame. I'm gonna go Talonflame and Deli Bird, and I'm gonna bring San Sandstream combo. Well, you know, instead of Sandstream combo, we are going to bring. I think Tusk can be a little bit better here, right? Should I bring Tusky, or we have some fun with this one. I think we have some fun with it. Let's get Houndstone out here. A little bit of Houndstone action. Plus, Houndstone can get some work done onto the Flutter main. A little Ghost move. It gets work done. It gets work done. They got a lot of physical attackers. We got two Burn Setters here with Willowis. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Let's grab ourselves another win. Let's go back to back here and guarantee ourselves a winning record going into match number three. But again, I'm, I am scared a little bit of Miyoskarada. That Pokemon's a problem. It's definitely a problem. 
If he leads it, I might just double down into it. But I think Iron Hands is going to come out here for the lead. But we shall see. We shall see the play. It is going to be Iron Hands, and it is going to be Alscarada. Hmm. I think I have to just protect Delibird. Bird. I have to keep it alive here, right? My Cork Drive is going to boost us. Speed is heightened. We just protect it. I think it's just a simple play to protect it. I think it's legit just a simple play to protect it. And just Brave Bird this thing. I'm just going to Brave Bird. I'm not even going to set up the Tailwind. I'm just going to get right after this Miascarada. I want it dead. I want it gone. Get it on out my face. Don't need it. Don't need it. So we end up protecting the Deli Deli Bird. Or Iron Bundle. Whatever you want to call it. And hopefully the Fake Out's going into that slot. It is. Great Protect on our end. Good work, Deli Deli Bird. Are you doubling down with a Flower Trick too? That'd be pretty cool. So we're Brave Bird. Right in your mitt. Right in your mitt. Meowskarada, get on out of here. Get on out of here. Not dealing with that Pokemon. Another solid first turn from us in today's video. Huge turn. Huge turn. Nice, lovely protect. They get no value out of that turn, and we just get rid of a Pokemon. I thought it was going to be Focus Dash. A lot of Meowskaradas are Focus Dash. But the Gargi is going to come out here next. And I feel like from here, we just rip this thing with a Hydro Pump. It might Terrasalize. If it does, it does. And I'm going to try to land a will o -Wisp right over on the Iron Hands. Man, it right over onto Iron Hands. I do think he terrestrializes though into Ghost onto the Gargoyle slot. But if I get off a burn onto Iron Hands, I feel like this could be a really, really solid turn from us. Even if both my Pokemon go down here. Hydro Pump ends up landing and just ripping into that thing. will o -Wisp ends up connecting. Oh my lord, I'm loving this turn. I love this turn. Big time turn. No terrestrialize from him either. Big time plays from Jeans. Big time plays from Jeans. So we get off the burn. He goes for a Wild Charge. That's taking out Deli Deli Bird. Oh, it's not. But recoil damage is probably going to take him out, right? I mean, burn definitely helped us out there. Salt Cure going to come out here. What you going to do? I don't mind if Talonflame comes out here and dies. It did its work. Got rid of the uh, Miascarada and put a burn on one of the strongest physical attackers on their team. So I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. No problem. It ain't no problem. Why is that? Wait a minute. Why does Iron Hand have so much HP? I thought we did damage to it. No, we, we didn't do damage to it. Why do I think Recoil was taking it out? I have no idea why. I feel weird now. <laughs> I definitely feel weird. But uh, from here, I think we go into a Pokemon like you and we Terrastalize, right? These obviously want to go into that uh, fighting move. I'm going to end up Terrastalizing you. I'm going to try to get rid of the Gargoyle Knuckle at the same time, too, because I just wanted that thing dead. Sandstream is going to kick up here. So we kick up the Sandstream. We're going to freeze dry this thing to KO that. I'm going to terrestrialize and I'm just going to go for... Did I just rock side? Maybe look for some flinches here? It's a possibility. It is definitely a possibility. Yeah, I'm just going to rock side. I already know he's going for the drain punch into my T-Tar slot. I already know that's happening. And maybe I should have freeze dried the uh, iron bundle. I probably should have freeze dried the iron uh, hands with the iron bundle and low kick the uh, gargle knuckle, but it's all good. It's all good. We're grabbing some flinches anyway. We're not playing around. Protect comes out from the Gargi. That's showing. That is showing. And a freeze dry is going to get blocked. But we're going for a nice lovely rock side. Again, I, I'm guessing this thing's going for a drain punch. Just try to get some HP back. But we're going to hope it's not going for a wild charge. Because that could be scary. Or maybe we just straight up get a flinch. We're only doing a little bit of damage onto it. No, it goes for a Drain Punch into the Deli Bird slot, so... I mean, that's cool. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. We got to burn on that. Gargi's not looking so hot here. Now we get to bring on our final Pokemon, which is going to be Houndstone. I really do like Houndstone. I do like Houndstone here. So I'm ready to rip. I'm ready to rip. That thing's chilling there. Uh, I might just KO that, right? I think I just KO the Gargle Knuckle with the low kick. And then I have Houndstoon to start last respecting in the Pokemon. Good old Houndstoon. I could play rough. What would do more damage? I don't really want to rely on the player off missing, right? That could be ugly. That could be ugly. That could be ugly. Because last respects, uh, I think it's 50 base power for every uh, Pokemon dead. Plus I have stab on that. So I think it does more than the, the fairy move. You know, what? I'm going to go into last respects here. And I'm just going to heavy slam this thing. Just in case he wants to terrestrialize. Actually, I would rather low kick it. I don't think he's going to terrestrialize it into ghost here. 
he does not. Cool. So Last Respects come out here, doing some big time damage. Big time damage. Popping the berry. I do think Wild Charge comes out here, but he, we might be able to survive it. Low Kick should be able to KO this Gargi. Right? Correct? Yeah. Cool. And now Iron Hands is probably dropping that Wild Charge. Which I think we should be able to eat up and just burn, but I have a weird feeling he's going to get a crit here. But just, I have a weird feeling. Okay, cool. Yeah, we soak up really, really easily. But again, that burn from our Talonflame came up huge. That was definitely real clutch. So we got Houndstone chilling out here, doing some big time damage with Lance Respects. Uh, Iron Hand's not looking too good. We can take it out with uh, one one move from Houndstone. But I want to see who their final Pokemon's going to be. Who is your final Pokemon? It could be Fluttermane. It could definitely be Fluttermane. No, it's going to be Dragonite. It's going to be Dragonite. Dragon, Dragonite. Uh, I could burn it here. It could terrestrialize into normal here as well. Hmm. Did I protect on you? I do not. How many turns left in Sandstorm? Because this one's actually coming really close. Three turns left in Sandstorm. Um, I'm going to will o -Wisp that. I'm going to make sure that this thing dies out. He's going to terrestrialize into normal here. 100%. East speed and try to look for the KO, correct? Just so last respects when it hit us, yeah. So that's why I didn't let respect into it. I'm going for the burn. I need a burn on this thing. I need a nice lovely burn. Protect comes out from my hands. That's a smart little protect. And Willow Wisp connects. Superb. 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 Because this thing, it's gotta be physical attacking, right? It's gotta be. So big time burn coming out here. Let's we'll see what he ends up doing. He goes for an ice spinner. Can we eat that? Maybe. Superb burn. Big time burn. Big time burn. So I can't last respect that thing. I cannot. I simply cannot. Simply cannot. But these things are going to take buffets. They're going to take burn damage. We're slowly chipping away. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. So E speed probably KOs me, right? E speed probably KOs me. The Iron Hands goes down next turn, so I, I don't think I want to worry about the Iron Hands. Iron Hands gonna go down to buffets and uh burn damage. But I kinda just wanna start going after you, right? Just getting straight after Dragonite, dropping a rock slide here as well. I like it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Let's see where what our opponent ends up doing. It's gotta be, it's got to be an E speed here. It seems like the, it seems like the only play. The thing that sucks is we're forced to only use we're forced to only use uh, play roughs. We are forced to only use play roughs with our Houndstone. And I have a I have a bad history of missing play roughs when I need them to be lane. Especially short and shield days. Zassian's always missed them. He's always missed them. Play off comes out here, chips up a decent amount of damage. Wild Charge coming in here. How much damage is that done? We still have Citrus Berry, which is solid. And if I Destiny Bond, that's the real question. If I Destiny Bond, do I win the match? Can I win the match on a Destiny Bond? I am not too sure if I can. I don't think you can. Because you die first, right? I don't think you can win on a Destiny Bond. I really don't think you can. I still outspeed for how many turns? For one more turn. For one more turn, I'm going to outs outspeed here. But I still have Citrus Berry, which is so big. Because I don't think he can KO me in one shot. So I'm going to go for the player off again. I'm going to chip up some more damage. This turn, he's not going to take us Sandstorm damage. And I can definitely see him protecting here as well. Wow, what a good second battle. What a great second battle. Coming down the wire. We land the player off, which is phenomenal. Ice Spinner coming out here. Doing barely any damage, which is huge. And now we just pop a nice little Citrus Berry. And all I need to do is land one more player off. If I had Protect, I would Protect this turn. But I do not have Protect. But the Sandstorm is gone. He has speed on me. Burn's chipping up. And I just have to land this player off. I just have to land this play rough. Let's get it. Let's do it. My boy, Houndstone for the win. Cool. They cancel battle. They cancel battle. 2 and out. Let's hop to our third. Look for a perfect record. Keep it running, ladies and gentlemen. Your boy is buzzing. We're sitting at 2 and out, but we are going up against another Arm Rusion in DD. We slapped on one in match number one. Hopefully, we can do it again and slap on it again in match number two. But I'm going to go in with the lovely little T Tar again. T Tar's just so good up against them. So I'm going to lead a T Tar, and I'm also going to. Do I lead Talonflame? I mean, Trick Room is the, the thing, right? Trick Room is a thing. But do I lead the Talon Talonflame, or do I go in with a Pokemon like... 
Like, you would not be bad. You would not be bad here. I actually really like that because I can terrestrialize Titar into flying. I can pop EQ. So if he wants to go into follow me with Ndidi, I can still rip with an EQ unless he terrestrializes. Then it'll be a problem. But other than that, I feel fine with that. I'm going to bring Golden Go in the back end. And then last but not least, hmm. Deli Deli Bird? I mean, Duck Deli Bird's a beast. But again, if Trick Room's out and about, it's definitely going to be a problem for us. It would definitely be a problem for us. But I still want him because if Trick Room's not out and about, this thing's a menace. It's a menace to society. And it's going to help us win this match. But we're going to try to just get ripping here. We're just going to try to get ripping here. They're probably leading in DDR moves. It's going to be a problem. And if they do, I got to terrestrialize into flying. I got to just drop a big time EQ. Only option. Only option. We'll see who they want to lead. Cool, it's, it's Ndidi, but it's not Armourge. Okay. I mean, I can deal with that. So it's still an Ndidi combo with Annihilate. I mean, Annihilate can do some big-time damage. I feel like we just pop Flying Terror. Just so he doesn't do a little Drain Punch into me and KO me. And then we get after that one. I like it. So Great Touch coming in here. We're going to Terrasalize regardless. And I think I just Assurance this thing and pop a free EQ. It just seems like... Seems like the simple play, right? A very simple play. I'm gonna do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Dude, T-Tar with Flying Terror is so good. It's like the only Terror type it needs. It's so good. It counters a lot of the typings that it's weak against. It just helps it dodge EQs, because considering when you use this Pokemon, you're pairing up with a lot of Pokemon that learn EQ. It's just the perfect Terror type for this Pokemon. He goes for a Gambit, and that, that actually really hurts. That actually really hurts. I wasn't expecting the Gambit. I did not think about the Gambit. That sucks, man. Just ruined my day. Because now I don't have Terra. Now I do not have Terra. And the NDD can pop a nice big time Psychic into me. EQ's still going to fly. It's going to do half damage. And oh no, it pops a Trick. And even worse. Even worse. So now I really don't like where we're sitting. Now I really don't like where we're sitting. Um... We gotta go into somebody with protect. I'm thinking we're just gonna go into you. Save our golden go. But I think Torkoal does come out here, which is gonna be a problem. Is El Torkoal coming out here? Is it El Torky? It is El Torkoal. So this is where we protect. This is where we pop an EQ. Probably gonna double down into me, and I'm just I'm screwed, right? I am screwed. Unless indeed he goes after the, the Deli Bird, but we gotta have to protect here. We have to protect the Deli Deli Bird. And we have to just land this EQ. That's our only shot at win this match. I could protect actually, but we're just gonna straight up get after this. So there's Terrasize. If I had to guess it's fire, but if it's anything other than fire, we pretty much just lose this match, right? No, it is fire. Hold up. Wait a minute, your boys got a chance here. Your boy's got a chance, but again, Eruption and a Psychic into my, or even a Gleam into my Great Tusk is a problem. It's a problem. Maybe Eruption by itself is just a problem. This is looking scary. I don't like this. I do not like this. I want to go home. I want to go home. <laughs> Here it comes. Ah! Yo, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I get a free Sash. Unless I am Sash. I am Sash. <laughs> I am Sash. Indeed, you go after my Deli Deli. Of course you double down. Of course you double down on the side. I don't know what to do now. I simply do not know what to do. We don't have Terra. We don't have any way of changing weather. They have Trick Room. We're just sitting in a god-awful spot. The worst spot on the planet. No first turn priority. I gotta go for Hydra Pump. And I gotta protect. It's our only option. It's our only option. But Eruption probably just picks up the KO. Yeah, now it definitely picks up the KO. The Torkoal's OP in this game in Trick Room. Especially with the Fire Tower, it's just game, set, match. It does too much damage. It legit does too much damage. Eruption comes out here again, and this is how this is how we get our only loss today. I'll take it on the chin. I'll take it on the chin like a man. Eruption comes out here, frames into my deli, but we stand no chance. I'm just going to run this battle. 2-1 for today's video. Solid first two battles, and then the, the last battle we... We, we had a quick loss there. They, they final gambit into my T-Tart, wasted my Terra, and then popped Trick Room at the same time, and then it, it was over from there. Torkoal came in there and just cleaned up the cleaned up the mess. 
There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Solid set of matches for today's video, and we got to showcase this team really, really well. Houndstone came out there in the second match, absolutely dominated, and became MVP of that match. But then you had Pokemon like T-Tar, Golden Go, Iron Bundle, Talonflame, and Great Tusk doing a lot of work all around. I really did like this team, and I thought it was pretty solid in the Master tier. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.